Greetings everyone, Joseph James here with your another newsletter brought to the schooltrade.com. October 1st, 2009, making our way through the month of September. Had a great month of September, now we're into October. Now guys, historically, our biggest returns come in October, November, and the first couple of weeks of December. So get ready for some big price action over the next 90 days. I want to remind you guys also, we have a free resource online. Please go to our YouTube page, forward slash School of Trade. While you're there, please subscribe to our page and please rate and comment on this video. All right, let's see what we took today in the room. We went, uh, what, four for four today? Five for five? 480 bucks in our pocket. Now today, very different than we saw yesterday. We saw some good price extension, got some nice big moves early in the day, and kept that uh, you know, pad in our pocket the rest of the morning. 480 here in the market this morning. That brings our weekly total here. Uh, let's see, we did uh, 685 last week. So 685 plus your 480 for today brings our weekly total here now to 1165. Now, of course, we started the week in September. We'll finish the week tomorrow in October. And, of course, as you guys can see here, we're getting back to our old tricks again, getting back up to that three, four, five hundred 500 bucks a day here. Now the price tag starts to come back in the market after the summertime. Let's talk about our trim of the day today. Trim of the day is a sideways market. Now, of course, a sideways market, we see this all the time right now in these choppy, consolidated, lower-volume environments. While we're waiting to see the trends return to the market, we've got to learn how to trade sideways markets. Now, of course, what is a sideways market? It's when price trades in a well-defined or a narrow range. It fails to make new highs or new lows, and we have fewer participants, which means you're going to see lower volume. Now, this low volume means we'll see fewer high percentage opportunities. So sideways markets got to be patient. Fewer opportunities means more discipline needed. Now, of course, in a sideways market, you're going to see more opportunity for manipulation, and if you're a trend trader, beware, because a sideways market, oftentimes, we see head fakes, Right, fake out breakouts that end up coming right back down into that sideways chop. So beware if you're trading breakouts or trading with a trend. Right, not going to be very many opportunities like that in a sideways market. And of course, a trend reversal pattern such as this two-step is what we choose to capitalize on things like a sideways price action or horizontal markets. Again, it's called the two-step. It's a counter trend pattern that capitalizes on this sluggish, choppy market back and forth. Let's take a look at what one of these looks like. Now, of course, as you can see here, this is a snapshot. Uh, what is this of the crude oil here? But what I want to show you guys here is basically you've, you can see this shaded portion here to the top. This is a sideways market. As you can see, we have a horizontal trend. We have double tops, double bottoms. We very rarely see any breakouts above or below this horizontal trend. This is a classic, uh, basically horizontal or sideways market. And of course, for a situation like this, we're going to use things like our two-step pattern to be able to take trades at the extremes going back up into the bracket. So we'll sell the highs of the bracket, we'll buy the lows. All right, Again, guys, sell the highs of the bracket, buy the lows of the bracket, and as you guys know, in a sideways range, we stay away from that center area, right? We call it the chop zone. And guys, come out and join us tomorrow morning, and we'll show you guys how to trade these sideways markets with accuracy and consistency. We open up the room tomorrow morning, tomorrow's a Friday, so we open up at seven. Uh, I'm sorry, 2.45 a.m. Eastern Time for the European session, then 7.45 a.m. for the U.S. session. Okay, so Tuesday through Friday, we open up 2.45 a.m. For the, for the European session, 7.45 for the U.S. session. And I want to remind you guys, the beginner's course is highly, recommend, it's, it's highly recommended for all free trial members. Grab a copy of the beginner's course today. It's your who, what, where, when, and why about how we trade in the trade room, and it's a great tool for your learning when you begin. Let's look at some of the trades we took today here. Now, again, great day today. Uh, what do we say? Take three. Oh, three for three. Three for three today. Missed a couple trades here and there, but not too bad. Uh, we're doing a great job, guys, at limiting our mistakes in the market every morning. So I'm really happy with all my members right now. You guys are doing a great job. So big round of applause for our members. You guys are really picking up the pace, and it's been a great experience watching you guys become very successful in the room this month. So congratulations to all of our members out there, and keep up the good work. First trade today, guys, 9.07 here on the crude. Now we went three for three on the crude. We took a couple trades in the euro. One of the euro trades was a scratch trade. One of them I missed. This, of course, 9.07, breaker long at 70.52. We took targets at four ticks, eight ticks, and then trailed my stop for another eight ticks on this runner. That totals 24 ticks. We take two off the first one, one off the second, one off the third, and of course totals 24 ticks at 10 bucks a tick. That's 240 bucks there in your pocket for this first trade. Notice, guys, very simple pattern. We had the break above that red line, 70.46. We then waited to see that swing high being made. That swing high is the blue line right there. Once we see the break of that swing high, we take this trade to the long side using things like our pace of the tape indicator and our price patterns along with our mechanical rules to qualify this when it breaks out. 
All right, there's our first trade. Second trade here was just shortly thereafter. 50 minutes past the hour, 9.50 here, just before 10 o'clock. A two-step short here going the opposite direction. Now, we had just seen price break above 70.72. That was yesterday's high of day. So, of course, above 72, that was a previous day high. So we had to be careful about that, but we obviously were looking for a trade above there. 70.92 is my entry here, just below 71 even. We took ticks. We took, we took targets here at five ticks, eight ticks, and then scratched out for 18 ticks. Good example here on the crude how sometimes the lack of liquidity on the crude will actually be in your favor. We initially looked to take four tick targets, got filled in my five tick target, as you guys can see, because price moved so quickly there. So kind of get the benefit of the doubt there on this move. Again, took targets at five ticks, eight ticks, and got scratched out there on the runners. You can see it came right back up against us before it came right back down. Basically, that takes 18 ticks out of the market times 10 bucks a tick. There's your 180 bucks. And you can see, guys, we are quickly padding our account here on our way to that goal of 480. Now, here in the euro, the euro, guys, boy, I'll tell you, one of our favorite marks to trade, but the euro has been uh, kind of a, a frustrating environment to trade in the last couple of months. It's been decent volume, but the, the euro simply can't get away from itself. It's been difficult to see big ranges, big moves, very choppy, very indecisive. So hopefully the euro's the good times are to come here towards the end of the year, but we have not seen the euro been very been very consistent with us at all lately. Uh, this is one of those trades where we wish we could go back and take it again because I missed this one. Uh, 1016 here, we called it live in the room. I took my focus off this chart for two seconds to go adjust another one, and when I came back, I had my members gloating about how much money they made on that trade. But basically, 16 minutes past the hour here, breaker short, a very simple pattern to see. The blue line there, that's your swing low below that level at 45.50. We got below 45.50, made that swing low. The blue line is automatically marked to my chart, so we knew exactly where we're getting in. We, of course, we saw the swing low at 48. Wanted to see a couple ticks below that 48 level, so we got short at 46. Well, should say, we called it live at 46. I missed it. The rest of them took it, though. Got their 4, their 8, and their 2 on their runner there. It came back up against them for at least 20 ticks there on that trade. So a great trade there. I missed it, but a lot of our members took it, and they did a little bit better than I did here in the room today. Again, wish I could kind of rewind the tape and take that one over again, but another example here, guys, is sometimes a mental mistake is a costly mistake because you miss a winning trade. Always focus and be engaged because you don't want to miss trades like this, especially on the Euro. A quick 20 ticks there, 12, 12.50 a tick. You guys do the math. That's a pretty expensive trade to miss. Next trade here was my final trade of the day, 11.27 this morning, guys, 27 minutes past the hour, just before we finished up today. We, of course, had a great webinar at 11.45 on trading and gambling here in the room, so be sure to join us for our free webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This, of course, just before we finished up in the morning, this was a breaker short, 27 minutes past the hour, just below that 70 even level. Of course, crude was all over that 70 even level all day today, and, of course, yesterday as well. So we really wanted to get below that level, get some distance from us. 69.78, as you can see here, it's very simple. We broke below all of this level of support here. We got below the support. We then watched our price our time and sales window and our pace of the tape looking for a consistent movement to the downside, increased sell pressure. We saw that in our time and sales window. We bracketed out our tape. In fact, this is one of those examples, guys, of how we bracketed out our time and sales window and went over how we use that technique to identify the breakout just by reading the tape. That's right, guys. We bracket out our time and sales window so we can learn how to read the tape more effectively. And this is one of the, uh, one of the trades we took using that technique. We took a very small winner here, though, as you can see. Just got our first three-tick target, took two off at the three ticks, and, of course, got our six ticks, 60 bucks, and we're out there for that final trade. Add it all up, guys. There's your, four, there's your 48 ticks on crew today. Missed one on the Euro. Took a scratch trade also in the Euro today as well. So we didn't. these aren't all the trades we took, uh, but basically these were the, the, uh, the most important ones for you guys to be aware of. As always, we'll show you guys all this stuff live in real time. So come out and join us tomorrow morning in live trade room. Opens up tomorrow morning at 2.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do free webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guys, we'll trade any market. We'll give you live calls, with entries, targets, and stops. I'm going to show you guys how to manage the trades, how to get into the trades. Plenty of opportunities for questions. We do answers all day long. You'll see the market a completely different way, guys, as part of our free trial. I want to remind you guys the beginner's course is recommended for all free trial members, so grab a copy of the beginner's course. And guys, please rate and comment on this video. My name is Joseph James. For more information about lifetime membership, that's right, no monthly fees, only a lifetime membership. That's sales at schooloftrade.com. And again, guys, thanks for your time. We'll see you guys tomorrow in the room, 2.45 a.m. Don't miss a tick. Bye-bye for now.